Just days before primary voters head to the polls in Illinois, one Wabash Valley race is heating up. Uh, initially, the race had been between incumbent Roger Eddy and two challengers for the Republican ticket. Well, last week, Representative Eddy dropped out of the race after he was offered a job with the Illinois Association of School Boards. Now, two other Republican challengers are battling for the Republican nomination and for Eddy's job. News says Joe Ostrowski sat down with both candidates today, and he joins us with more. Joe, tell us about the race. Mark and Patrice, both candidates say they've got strong backgrounds in small business. One candidate is Brad Hallbrook from Shelbyville, Illinois. He owns his own farm fence company and he's worked as a Republican county chair. Right now, Hallbrook lives outside the new 110th district, but he says he plans to move into the new district sometime after the primary. The other candidate is Kevin Garner from Cumberland County. In the past, he's owned a trucking company, worked as an auctioneer, and now works in safety at a mechanics company. He's also a tax assessor. Both men say one of their top priorities is to make the state more business friendly. Um, I feel that Illinois is a great place to live, great place to raise your family, um, but, we're, but it's not going to be in the future if, if we don't do something. You know, uh, Our jobs are crossing state lines daily. The biggest issue uh, that most business owners face is the workers' compensation rates. Um, they can cross state lines and those rates are in half what they are in the state of Illinois. Both men also say they want to work to fix the state's budget crisis, and we asked them just how they do that. Holbrook says he supports the budget plan laid out by Republicans in the state Senate. That plan includes cutting $5 billion of spending and capping state spending, reforming workers' compensation and public employee pensions, and prohibiting state debts from being pushed from year to year. He also says he'd like to see term limits and more open government. One of the priorities would be to get the spending online so that we can see the spending and know how to manage accordingly. Available readily, online, real time, every dime. Meanwhile, Garner also says he supports cuts in spending, though he's hesitant to call for specific cuts before entering office. He also says it's important that the state keep its promises for pension and Medicaid. He also says he wants to keep taxes low, and he says many families are already overtaxed. I've been a uh, tax assessor, multi township tax assessor, for the last 10 years, so I know people are being taxed to death. People, people don't mind paying their fair share, what I see in people but uh, they want to know the money's going to the right place. Now, we provided much more information about this race at our website, WTHITV.com. We should note there are no candidates for the Democratic nomination. Mark, Patrice, back to you. Thank you, Joe. Again, the Illinois primary will take place Tuesday, March 20th. News 10 will have complete coverage for you next week, both online and on WTHITV.com.